Laura and Matt join me now. What a perfect time of the year to be starring in a supernatural thriller. Um, Halloween around the corner. Uh, 222 Ghost Story, been hugely successful, Laura. What is the key to the success of this play, do you think? Uh, it's the script. It's the script. Uh, we, we both saw um, previous versions of it and I just went in the audience just to watch it, not knowing anything about it, and I loved it. I was gripped. Um, and that's testament to Danny Robbins um, and also the direction of, of Matthew Dunster and the whole team. Um, so when the opportunity came up to audition for it, I, I just jumped at it uh -huh. um, and, and then get to work with a new cast and we kind of got to make it our own and make it something different. But I still can't believe I'm doing it. I'm still out of body experience that I'm sitting here talking to you that I'm doing it. <laughs> You're doing it. Yeah. And I've been doing it for a while now. It's like we say, they, they, it has been running since summer last year, Matt, but every time it does change the cast, I think they allow you to bring yourself to the rules, so it feels like a very different play every time. Yeah, I think that was what's so, what was so brilliant about it, because wh when I saw I saw James Buckley play the part, and he was so brilliant at it, but such different casting to me, so I was yeah. quite surprised when I got the call to go in for it. And, um, and the director, um, Matthew and Izzy, who direct it, were so adamant that they just wanted us to find it ourselves mm. and kind of... So everything's kind of different. The, the staging's different, what we do is different, how we find the characters is different. And um, I think that's what's so great is that every time it's a brand new cast and you can kind of go and see it again and again and again and kind of get something different from it. Yeah, well, having people who've gone again and again and yeah. again, it's, it's yeah. great to see. It, even though they know what's even happening. Even though they know what's yeah. happening, yeah. makes it more interesting. Exactly. You took your daughter along, didn't you? I and, did, I took, uh, I took she, my she two eldest. She tried to play quite cool, however. She did, she came backstage <laughs> and she was... <laughs> well, I took my 10-year-old son, um, who's a bit young for it, I think, and my 13-year-old daughter, and they came backstage and they were very cool. And then I had to sleep in the room with her for three nights afterwards. <laughs> She's going to yeah. love you for saying that. Exactly. exactly. Love Sorry as well. That. But um, I also wound her up because the next morning, because <laughs> I slept with her, I slept with her in, a, in a room all night. And the next morning, I woke up and I put the 2:22 clock sign oh, on my phone, that's glowing. That's not fair. And man. then woke her up with these fox sounds <laughs> from the show, and she just woke up going, "Daddy, don't do that." It's terrifying. So I was like, oh. Yeah, bad call, bad, bad parent. Yeah. Well, we know you're a seasoned pro up on the stage, Matt. But for you, Laura, this is your West End debut. This yeah. Is Huge. Yeah, uh, and terrifying. Um, I, I've loved theatre always, but I, I think for, for anyone to do it in the West End is just a whole different kettle of fish. And it was, it's just like every every night when we come off stage and even just being in the middle of London and, and seeing the lights, it, it still takes my breath away. Um, but it's scary. I mean, the first the first night, mm -hmm. like getting up there on stage, I'm like, what, what am I doing? And there are similarities to live telly a little bit. Mm -hmm. This feels a lot safer. Yeah. This feels yeah. a lot. This is a nice calm space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, but I think, uh, you know, with the cast we have, like there's, there's, there's four um, main characters there on stage and we're on stage together for most of it. Mm -hmm. um, and you kind of had that support there the whole time. Mm. Um, so it's just a roller coaster. You talk yeah. about fear though, and I'm not entirely sure what's worse or indeed scarier. T a 222 ghost story or <laughs> a, a villa full of islanders who I don't clearly know either, Christine. go their own ways in there, as we know. And I know that's going to be a big shift for you now. Yeah. You've been so synonymous with the show, Laura, for, for the a different past outfit than I wear on stage. I, I'm guessing just a little bit. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny rocking up in a pair of yeah. platforms. <laughs> There's um, no slow mo shots like this, I'm guessing either. Yeah. It's a lot quicker. Jenny moves yeah. a lot quicker. But yeah. I don't know where there's more drama. I think there's more drama in the villa sometimes than there is on stage with the thriller that we're doing at the moment. Moment. Mm. But but I love I love challenging myself and I think that's really important um, to kind of keep trying to do things to make myself better and uh, it's it's exciting. But I mean I you know, like you I'm a huge fan of Love Island but always gripped. Yeah, and you will you'll always watch. It's just one of those things, isn't it? When it pops up, it's like yeah, it's there. Or otherwise, you what, what can you talk about? What do you talk about? <laughs> um, where do you both stand on the supernatural? Do you do you believe Matt? Uh, I've never really had any experiences or kind of had any Until kind of last weird. Night? Last night was a bit of a weird one. Last night we were kind of talking about kind of spooky experiences on stage at warm up before, and then just before we were going to go on, we we have to go under the stage to get on, and there was a flood under the stage. We couldn't like get through. Two feet of water, so we couldn't get on. So like, and we just had that conversation yeah. during um, warm up where we were on stage, not knowing that this was happening underneath, saying, 
talking about this ghost in an old stage. I think uh, one of the other actors yeah. was saying that this ghost was trying to stop people from getting on stage. And then we were like kind of laughing about it. And then we went to go on stage and there was like a flood and we're like, oh, it's a sign. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to tell us yeah. something. There's a lot of electrical stuff down there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. The show went on, we did yeah. it. It's a sign and oh. dangerous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, look, it, it, I've heard nothing but incredible reviews about this. Everyone I know that's been to see it so far has just mm. loved it. Um, uh, at 2.22, a ghost story. It's on at London Criterion Theatre right now until the 8th of January and then you, you shift off and, mm -hmm. and, yeah. and you do other bits. So it's wonderful to see you both this morning. Thanks, Matt. Thank you very much, Laura.